ain't in the business of helping you. Well, okay. Would you? It's for the good of your Shia. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new offer. How about a story? I'll spin you a tale in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. The wild winds wandered. The seas spit salt. The night fell into slumber. Wise Odin rose and bade farewell. He pulled on boots of leather. Bit of a slow start. Pick it up! Long before, before the beginning, before you and I and the others, wise Odin looked with his one wane eye and stared and blinked and thundered. Uh, this Odin fella, he's one of your gods, isn't it? The moon burns red, the sea foams gold. Wise Odin utters the words. Right, this is not what I wanted. Stop it, will ya? The snake writhes. Loki yawls. Poison drips from the mouth. Enough, enough! Is this some sort of Nordic curse? Run, go! How does it end? They all die. He said soldiers are coming. We can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Edwin. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. This place is heavily guarded. What was that? Prepare yourself! The soldiers are close! That overhanging branch is a good vantage for a first strike.
That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulcay, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation, when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods? Or could he be a god himself? You've spent too much time locked in that fed itself, okay? Weeks of fasting and prayer and abstinence can clarify that which we otherwise fail to see. Sigurd is only a man. The son of a king, and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god. In ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Gidrich, to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here, to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you. Giedrich. Eivor, have you dealt Edwin in a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defenses. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defenses. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. Feel great. The springs are large balls. I must disable them. to be done, but this should be enough to launch the assault. Now it's down to Gidrich to lead his men. Uh. 
Say we wait. There's too much riding on this. I am Sigurd Jarl, Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight now. You. Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I am here to speak with Giedrich. Go on then. Your master awaits. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I have had visions, prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to Tyr this day, the Lord of Justice, the harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's importance read well. We're ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flap-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back.
Get to the point. Ah!
You felled the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. Heal her wounds, dress her in rags, and send her out into the heath in exile. You are banished from Mercia, without family, without rank, without friends to comfort you. I will walk the roads until my feet are bloody, dreaming of cutting out your rotten lungs. Take her away! I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you will do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way, and he won't be alone. Almost I could believe in old Cease's idea to lob flaming oil pots onto their ships. Hard to do when they stay just out of range and fill you with arrows. Terrible waste, though. I know it. It must. My mind is a riot with hope. You see, the markings of the ancient ones, the Isu, the gods of begat of gods. I, I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around. For who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. I've passed through this doorway once before. But Sigurd, in a dream, not once, a thousand times. A thousand. What does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... fogged. Shadowed. And yet I... I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... I see the great tree of life, her boughs reaching... skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seda, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come. King Alfred of Wessex, marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers. Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects, then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not for your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange, Lord. You can deserve that. Please, no, no secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. 
My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Us. These terms are fair. Wolfrich! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurdjörn, I offer myself. Thank you, Basim. King Alfred, wait. Hmm. Paladin Fulke, are you with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I'll gut you, troll woman! Hush! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith, for the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care. By all the guards, Basim. What was that? I will shadow them. They shall not get away.